All right, let's go Bob J to start off. All right, Hank, first of all, congratulations. How was this year's competition leading up to winning it for the third year in a row? How was it different and how was it similar to the first two? Um, you know, I think similarities were, I think, you know, all the quarterbacks just pushed each other. I think everyone's given it their, their all to, to just, you know, be that guy. Um, and I, and I think, you know, personally, I just think it was different for me just going into my third year, having this, you know, experience, uh, experiencing this again. Um, I just kind of, kind of felt like my mindset was in a good, good spot. And, um, uh, you know, I was just ready to compete and, and push push the other guys, and they were pushing me as well. You mentioned third year. What what do you know about football, about yourself, about just how this the drill works? What do you know now that you didn't know in the first two years? I mean, not a whole lot more. Um, you know, I think uh, I think I'm still growing as a person. You know, um, always just trying to just grow. Um, as a quarterback and, and, and off the field as well as a person. And, um, you know, I, I think, like I said, it, it, it is my third year, but um, you know, I, I'm just, I'm learning so much this year uh, with coach plow and, and coach Avalos. And, and it's been awesome. And just having those guys uh, teaching me and uh, you know, make me the best that I could be. If you looked at yourself heading into the Florida state game, and then you looked at yourself heading into the Utah state game last year and this year, where do you think you're most improved this year? I, I mean, from the floor state game, I think uh, tremendous strides, you know. Uh, I feel like just my ability to process information quicker, um, have a plan pre-snap and make quick decisions. I think that's something I, I'm still trying to work on, but I think that I've gotten better in that area. Um, from a protection standpoint, the, the ability to see pressure and, and just be really um, – in sync with my own line. I think that that's a really big thing this year for me is, is being on the same page with the center, you know, which way we slide, um, just having really good communication with them up front and, and my ability to understand protections and, and pressures has, has gone up, I think a lot this year. And, um, I think that that's something that's going to help me process information faster on the field and, and make quicker decisions. Hank, thanks. And congratulations. Thank you. Hey, how we doing, man? Doing good. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Um, so, uh, Hank, when it comes to this quarterback competition, how much did it require you each and every day to just be your best this fall camp? Yeah, I, I think uh, regardless of, of anything, uh, like, like, like a competition, I think I, I try to push myself to be, to be my best every single day. But you know, having other guys and, and guys like Coach Avalos and Plow and then Jack Talon uh, pushing me um, and helping me get better. I think, you know, it's awesome having those type of guys. And hopefully I, I they feel the same way about me, just pushing them. And uh, it's awesome having Coach Plow and Coach Avalos in my corner. And, and they're communicating to me, you know, hey, we really want you to get better in this area. Or, you know, I think they just really want to see me grow as a person, not just a quarterback. Andy said that it's a night and day difference from how you and the rest of the quarterbacks, for that matter, are operating this offense if you compare it to spring. So for you, when did the light come on and, and how did you get it to come on? You know, I really credit uh, Coach Plow with just, just helping me, um, like I said, understand protections, understand pressures, and then have a plan every single play. You know, I think uh, – the ability has, has been there as far as like making that decision. But I think for, for me and, and what he's been trying to just stress, stress on me is that, you know, sometimes the defense is going to win and they're going to, they're going to cover, you know, a receiver or something. And, and, you know, me, I'm just so stubborn. I'm freaking just the competitor in me. I'm just always trying to win that play and maybe force a ball or, or do something where, you know, I got to get to my check down or I got to get out or I got to throw it away. I can't take a sack here. And I think that that's been stressed so much on me and it's still being stressed so much on me by Av and, and Coach Blau. So that's something I think I'm working on still and I'm still just trying to get better on it. Hey, how did the coaches inform you that, that you're going to be QB1? I mean, did it, did it happen fairly quickly after that last scrimmage or how did they inform you? Yeah, um, they just uh, – 
you know, Coach Ab pulled me in his office, uh, you know, a few hours after the scrimmage and, um, you know, talked to him and I talked to Coach Blau and had a really honest conversation with him, you know, about, about that. And, you know, it doesn't stop there. You know, you can't be stagnant. That was a really big thing. He stressed and just continually pushed the guys and, and uh, you know, Jack and myself push each other. And, uh, you know, I think, you know, we've gotten each other really uh, a lot better, you know, throughout this a uh, couple years span. So it's been awesome. And it's been awesome having, you know, Coach Av and Coach Blau pushing us. You've been in this position before, but you had to earn it again. How much does it mean to you to, to be uh, QB1 for Boise State? Um, man, it's such a great honor. Um, it's such a great honor. And I, I just want to, you know, let you guys know, let Bronco Nation know that I'm going to do whatever I can for this team. And I love this team so much. I love this university. Um, and I'm so excited for this year. I'm really excited. Uh, one, one more for me for now, at least. But uh, we saw your Instagram post, Hank. Is is a storm really brewing? Um, yeah, I think uh, – I, I feel pretty, you know, I believe in myself. Um, I'm, I'm really confident. I believe in this system. You know, I believe in my teammates. Um, and I'm just, like I said, I'm so excited for this year. And I, I just I, I just want us to, you know, go the distance this year. That's all I can say. I just, you know, and it starts with today. Uh, you know, we just had Darren College speak to us. Every single rep matters. Yeah, every rep matters. You know, not just one day at a time. It's every single rep. So I really took that to heart. And, you um, Hopefully, uh, you know, we did as a team. So it fired me up. Thanks, thanks, man. Thank you. Let's go, BJ, Ron, Will. Hey, Hank, uh, you know, how's, how was, you know, Jack handling this? And you guys are obviously, you know, friends, and this has been a battle. How, how's, you know, the last couple of days been like that? How do you expect Jack to, to handle this moving forward? You know, he's been so first class. Um, you know, he came up to me, hugged it out with me. And um, for him to do that, that's that's a gentleman right there. And um, that's, you know, he's someone that has mentored me for a long time. And for him to do that is huge. And uh, I appreciate so much, you know, so. Hi, last year, you know, we, we've talked, you know, two years ago, you had the injuries. Last year, you had COVID. How eager, hopeful are you just to be able to play a full season and just have a, a full season and, and reach the potential that, that you and a lot of people know you can get to? I'm very eager, um, you know, I'm just working every single day and then just, you know, focusing on today, focusing on, like I said, on every single rep to be my best for this football team. Um, that's all, you know, my goal. Heard, uh, you know, big cat Brian's name come up from coach plow during a couple of the QB drills. I mean, how much, how excited are you now to be past the fall camp portion and know that you've got the spot and be able to kind of turn your attention towards UCF? I mean, today was that first day we really locked into to them and um, just getting a feel for their DNA uh, defensively, schematically, what they, what they uh, try to try to accomplish um, to to try and stop us. And I think right now we got a good game plan in, and, and it's great having two weeks to to prepare. We keep hearing about Taylor Green and how impressive he's been. I know we've asked you about him already, but just how for for knowing what it's like as a true freshman to have to come in with just spring ball under your belt and, and, and run an offense. How impressive is what Taylor has been? It sounds like his future is really bright. Yeah, I, uh, I'm i super impressed with how far he's come along in the spring. Um, you talk about a guy taking strides. Um, you know, his first few days, you know, reading his first progression or whatever, it'd be to the left, he'd be looking right, you know, something like that. Yeah, like, oh, dude. Uh, you know, but then say say he did that, then he'd go run for 50 yards or something like that. Uh, you know, he has that capability. But for him to be able to operate on the little things as, as being a quarterback, um, and I think that's something Plow stressing on him, and I've been stressing on him, and I hope, you know, he, he picks up things that, you know, I can't do a lot of things that he can do. But, you know, I can operate an offense, you know, mentally, you know, sending motion, seeing protection, seeing hot. Where, where's the pressure coming from, those type of things. I think once he picks that stuff up and his progression and his footwork, you know, being a quarterback, um, he's going to be really, really scary. And that development, he, he's on his way there. And uh, I can't wait till he gets there because it's, it's going to happen. And once it happens, he's, he's going to be scary. Thanks, Hank. Thank you.
And uh, so, you know, uh, having started as a freshman and now winning the starting job three years in a row, you're joining a pretty small group of Boise State quarterbacks. Have you have you thought about where you're going to go down in Boise State history at this point? Um, no, I, I haven't. Um, you know, I'm just focused on on today, tomorrow, UCF, you know, just trying to do my best. Um, you know, I, I look up to guys like Kellen, like Brett, like Zabransky. Um, those, those are guys that are legends here. And, uh, you know, I, I try to carry on the tradition and, and the culture of, you know, the quarterback at Boise State uh, every single day. And uh, it's something that I think about in that aspect, but it's not something I, I think about, you know, from, from the perspective you're talking about. I mean, I, I really do, you know, I want to go the distance this year. And uh, it starts with today, if that makes sense. Sure. And take me back to the scrimmage on Friday. How did you perform and how do you feel the offense as a whole performed? Yeah, I think we ran the ball well, uh, moved the pocket well. Um, some RPOs uh, executed on a couple of those. Uh, the sprint out game, I think we connected on some explosive uh, pass plays. And uh, CT did really well, made some incredible catches. Uh, and I, I think uh, I think we pushed tempo well. I think it's something that we're getting better at. Uh, I think we just executed the offense, you know, really well. I know uh, you and Coach Avalos are – or, or grew up in not far from each other. I know he was part of your recruiting process. How close did you guys become during that recruiting process? And how excited were you when you heard he was coming back to Boise State? Yeah, it was awesome. Um, he, he was my primary recruiter, you know, besides eventually Coach Hill and then uh, Coach Harris. Uh, we, we grew up very, very close to each other. Uh, he, you know, next town over. And, uh, I, I did have that prior relationship with him and, and I graduated early. So he was still here and he was one of the coaches that I really talked to a lot when I was here. And then, you know, it was a big bummer for me when he did leave. Um, but having that prior relationship, you know, and hearing when he got hired, you know, we, we talked fairly recent after, you know, the news broke. Um, so it, it's awesome having him as a coach. It's, it's a great honor. And, you know, he, my family loves him so much you know my brothers love him um my mom loves him so it, it's cool having him back in uh, our corner why do you think you guys got so close during that recruiting process I mean, was there was there something about him that stood out to you right away when you met him yeah you know something that i i've noticed with with all the boise state coaches um you know from the old staff to this staff um is the, the just the way that they're first class in the recruiting process um you know i think they were super genuine uh, in their process. They kept everything really honest with me. Uh, you know, not saying other schools didn't either, but I, I just think from, you know, everybody on staff that reached out, uh, they just did a first-class job. And, you know, Coach Avalos, you know, super clean-cut guy, uh, just impressed my family, um, impressed me. And, and then his ability to be personable, I think, and, and still carry that trade as a head coach, I think that that's – really going to help him out in the future, you know, from a player's perspective, I think the guys love him because he is so personable. So you guys have, you know, less than two weeks now until the UCF game. Uh, where do you guys as an offense need to improve between now and then? Yeah, I think uh, it's not Boise versus Boise anymore, if that makes sense. Uh, from a uh, schematics perspective, uh, we're installing, you know, for UCF now opposed to we were really just, installing our offense against our defense. Um, so schematically, you know, UCF is a little bit different. So we're installing the plays that we think are you know, going to be good for, against them. Thanks, man. Good luck. Thank you. Hey, Hank, how are you? Doing good. How are you? Good, good. Hey, yesterday we were talking with Kurt Raftall. He yeah. mentioned that you took him out to the pancake house uh, okay, the first week he was on on campus, how much pride do you take in taking guys under your wing and growing your leadership away from the field? Yeah, um, I take pride in the pancake house. I'll tell you that. Uh, that's a spot I love. Uh, love taking guys there. I go there a lot, actually. I get shoot whenever I get a day off. I try to go out and get some pancakes there. Uh, but. Yeah, no, having Kurt come out here was really cool. And I've taken other guys out there as well. Uh, 
And it's something that, you know, I'm still trying to grow at, get better at. Um, but I feel like I'm kind of stepping into my shoes there and, and getting out of my comfort zone and, and getting better, getting better in that area. Um, it's awesome having, having guys like an OJ, a Stetsy that are, that are vets and then a Tay and a CT and a Khalil uh, and a George, you know, I just named off a bunch of names, but these guys are professionals at what they do. So it's, it's really nice having them and, and, they have the same goals that I do. And, uh, you know, I'm excited about this year. Hank, what's the best part of being QB one at Boise state? Um, you know, I think, I think just the honor of carrying, uh, you know, that position, I think, like I said, there's a lot of tradition and history and just to be able to be one of those guys, um, uh, it's, it's an incredible honor. And I think, uh, it's, it's huge. I think it's something you have to carry every single day with you, you know, what'd you see out of the running game in the scrimmage? Yeah. Um, George is George. He looks incredible. He's healthy. He looks great. Um, Drew is running really, really hard, you know, big bully drew, uh, Cyrus, he's really multiple, I think, in his style, the way he runs. He's really versatile. But the guy that I was really impressed with was, uh, was Taekwon. Uh, he looked, I told him he looked like Nelly from uh, Longest Yard. Uh, like, <laughs> you know, he, he hit a couple moves. He was looking really shifty. He looks, he looks healthy, and uh, he, looks, he looked great on, at, on the scrimmage. Thanks, Hank. See ya. Thank you. Jay, you said you had a follow up. I did. Um, uh, Will kind of brought it up with Kurt. I'm, I'm, hey, I'm just curious. I know that the Pancake House is a popular spot for you. How many of your teammates have you taken to the Pancake House? Uh, I think I've taken a few, actually. Uh, I, I know I've, you know, I've taken a lot. I go there. When we have off days on the weekends or, you know, man, I might go there right now, honestly. Uh, got a little bit of time. Uh, they close at two, but they're closed on like uh, Mondays and Tuesdays or something like that. Uh, or Tuesdays and Wednesdays, which is a bummer because some days we'll, we'll, we'll get off. And I'll drive. I've drove over there a couple of times. They've been closed. And that was a bummer. But um, I've taken a few guys there. Uh, you know, me and Andrew Van Buren, we're, we're kind of regulars there. I think we go quite a bit together. Um, so it's a spot that. No, I love, and it's a comfort, comfort food for me is breakfast. And, uh, yeah, it's a really homey environment there. And, uh, I, I like just taking guys there and, and eat some breakfast. Um, Andy has complimented your leadership so many times, uh, throughout the off season in, in fall camp as a quarterback, how do you get your teammates to buy in that, that you can be their leader? You know, the way that I've always tried to do it was through my play, um, through, through toughness, uh, you know, I think, I think guys have seen that part of me as far as my capabilities on the field. And, uh, I've taken some hits that I, you know, I probably shouldn't have, uh, throughout my career, uh, obviously. Um, but I, I think for me, it's just leading by example on the field and, and just showing them, you know, that I'm going to give it my all for them. And, uh, I think the guys know that, uh, but for me, you know, just off the field, just continue to build those relationships and, and understanding, um, you know, that there's young guys on the, you know, on the field and, and just getting them up to speed on the offense or, you know, taking them out to eat to breakfast, things like that. Um, I think that that's an area that I've grown at off the, off the field more so. Cause when I got here, you know, I had guys like Mulchi and, and Rad, um, you know, guys that took me under their wing, uh, took me to breakfast and, you know, took me out places and, uh, you know, it means a lot to me that they did that. Um, you know, so hopefully I can do that for some younger guys. Um, we also heard that you're getting rid of the ball uh, quicker and that, um, that they've complimented your, your ability to, you know, timing in the offense, I guess. So how have you been able to work on that? Because, I've, you know, and we all know you like to, to try to make a play. So how do you how do you break that? Yeah, that's something I'm still working on, uh, to be completely honest with you. But I, I think – you know, Coach Ab is definitely stressed on me. And then Coach Plow is definitely stressed on me. Uh, but 
the timing with the footwork, that's something that's been stressed huge, 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 um, as far as the timing with the progression. And then also the protection standpoint of, you know, the protections are on me this year, which is something that hasn't really been done in the past. And for, for me having that, um, kind of on my shoulders and, and being responsible for, for myself, you know, cause if I get hit, it's my fault, you know, like I'm the one declaring, you know, where I'm, where we're sliding. So, um, I think the, the ability to see pressures, which, you know, coach Blanco Jab have really helped me out seeing and identifying early in the pre-snap, uh, I think it starts with that, get the, you know, the protection right first, and then what's my progression, and then what's my footwork with this progression, all right? And then if, if I'm hitching to this progression, I'm hitching to this progression, and it's not there, I can't hold on to it. I got to get, I got to run, I got to throw it away. I can't take a sack, can't take a hit. Just having that internal clock. Um, and I think it's things that have been stressed me in the past, but there's an actual system now that provides, you know, feedback on the field, but, you know, during the play, uh, with, with the progression and the footwork. So it's something I think that I'm still trying to master, but, um, I'm feeling it. It's getting, it's almost clicking for me. Thanks, Hank. Thank you. Hey, Hank, I had one more quick one. I know Tyler Gurns, one of your best friends, uh, yesterday to see him get the scholarship. Uh, what was that like? And, and also how's he, how's he coming along and, and how do you see him, you know, potentially contributing to the offense? Um, Fruitland forever, baby. Uh, he's a, he's a guy, you know, I worked at his car wash. His parents owned the car wash, you know, he's take, take me riding horses. Um, you know, his family is kind of my family away from home. If that makes sense, you know, being the oldest of five for me, um, uh, you know, it's so tough for me to, to leave them. And, you know, my brother's got football games coming up this Friday and, and Saturday. Um, so, you know, just, just having him and his family, you know, be the way that they are for, for me is, is such a great honor. I'm so grateful to have them in my life. Um, but I was totally caught off guard from that. Totally caught off guard, super surprised. had no idea. So, uh, you know, we were hiking, hiking table rock and, you know, I'm not a hiker, so that was tough. Then we get up there, you know, we do, you know, the freshmen sing the fight song and, and, you know, we, we unveiled captains and then, you know, they, they did a really cool deal with Khalil and uh, Tyler getting a text. And, uh, you know, I kind of knew once it, you know, got, got that vibe and uh, man just went over, gave him a hug and was so proud of him. And then, you know, for his development, I think he's, he is such a hard worker. And I think he, he does have that uh, Fruitland, uh, you know, mentality, I think like a Garrett Larson had. Um, so for, for him, you know, I think he's a guy that, can come in and run block power and, and, and then you go out on a pass and make a play and body a guy. And he's very versatile, I think, in, in that aspect. But I think, you know, he's going to give it everything he's got in every single play. Hank, as the starting quarterback at Boise State, you're obviously a pretty popular guy around town. Whether it's the Panking House or some other business, I'm sure you're going to have some endorsement opportunities. Uh, any new NIL deals you want to announce today? Um. I mean, I have some stuff, you know, I've, I've had companies reach out and stuff, but, um, you know, eventually, you know, I think that there's be some things, you know, coming out, but for, for right now, um, you know, I really just worked at camp, uh, recently. Um, uh, and then there, there's some other companies I'm talking to and stuff, but, you know, I'm just waiting, waiting on some stuff. I'm just focused on ball. You know, I, I, we've been in fall camp for a long time. You know, it feels like, I don't even know what day today. It feels like a Monday to me. I, I think I guess it's Sunday. So, uh, yeah, I I'm just been focused on football and focused on UCF and focused on Boise State football. So, you mentioned the team named captains at, on on Table Rock. Who are the captains this year? Um, we'll get you know, into that, Ron. That's not for Hank to answer. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, thank you, Joe. Yeah, that's uh, yeah. Thank you, Joe. Sorry. No worries, man. Good luck. Never seen Joe move that fast to get up to the screen. I got it. I had it, Joe. I got it. I was going to say that that was, that was for Coach Al. Big Joe. Big Joe. Gosh, I hope, I hope John Ojuku protects you like Joe. Holy crap. Yeah, yeah. Oh. wow. Wow. You know I, had John, it. I had it. Hey, Hank, did you know that Joe, all big nine out of Moses Lake, left tackle, all state his senior year? None of that is true. Yeah. 
They went, uh, wow. they went, they went thirty-one and one with him at left tackle. That's <laughs> yeah, true. No, that is true. Jay, Jay, my next. Okay, you always dig stuff up. If you can get some highlight tapes on on Joe Nickel, that'd be that'd be awesome. On it. Yeah, that's on awesome. It. I'd love that. <laughs> but it sounds like we're done today, boys. Yeah, I appreciate the time. Right. <laughs> All right, thanks, thanks you, Hank. Thank you. Appreciate you guys.